everybody, it's Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Today's Friday, the 15th of February, 2019. And look at how green this chart is. Everything is up this year so far. Everything was up today, everything this week, this month, and this year, except the volatility index, which uh, we don't uh, really care about right now as equity traders. We're looking at the uh, trends of the markets. And in the S&P 500, I've noted so many potential levels of resistance over the last uh, eight weeks. But again, the point is they are potential levels of resistance. There have been three times that this market has told me to turn cautious since the low uh, earlier this year. And that was when we got below the five-day moving average and the five-day moving average started to turn lower. The key there was I got cautious. I did not become bearish. This market has blown through every single level of what people have identified, myself included, as potential resistance. Other people called it resistance. I've been clear that it was these are potential levels to be aware of and where we want to watch the carefully, uh, evidence more carefully and wait for actual evidence before getting short. So, for instance, I was on watch late last week that if it broke below 268, it was going to break this trend line and a lower low below the declining five-day moving average. But instead, the buyers regain control and you give the benefit of the doubt to the buyers in that condition. And again, we can continue to try to say, here's resistance. It was resistance before. There is nothing that assures this, this market runs up to that level and backs off. We will only know in hindsight. That's the way it always works. There's a lot of people who try to be smarter than the market and say what it will do. Our job is to look at the evidence from what price action is telling us for our time frame and then to manage risk. Again, getting cautious when we uh, see things slowing down but not bearish. Same thing is true for the NASDAQ. This is a 65 minute chart. Each candle represents 65 minutes of trading and this is the volume weighted average price from the beginning of the year. We were below it for about a day and a half and we've been above it ever since. We've seen caution in the NASDAQ as well over here. It did not make a lower low uh, below the declining five day moving average. Here it did ever so slightly them quickly reverse back up. That's what stop losses are for. When we look at this NASDAQ, I've mentioned it, we're at the 200 day moving average. We're at a 61.8% retracement of the high and low from 2018, but there is no real evidence that sellers are gaining control. In fact, it's just the opposite. When we look at the five day uh, uh, moving average, we can still, it is still, see that it is still rapidly advancing. This prior uh, area in here is our first area of potential support. And then of course, right in here, 169 and a half. If we break down and we see that the five day moving average starts to turn sideways and we make lower lows and lower highs below it, then it's time to become very defensive. And maybe if it's your uh, uh, time frame to sell short, but I would think if we do pull back, we'll likely see, you know, keep an eye on the 20 day moving averages. The Russell 2000 continues to ramp higher. This one had a particularly great uh, day today as it gapped up and just continued to run. We had a slight pullback intraday, but you can see here buyers quickly regain control as it pulled back to the daily volume weighted average price. And now we're well above that five day moving average, which has a sharp ascent to it, but there's nothing here showing that it's ready to, to reverse. You can say it's up too much or other words that mean nothing, but price action says, you know, we have a pattern of higher highs and higher lows. If you're super aggressive on the short side, maybe below this level uh, leads to a little bit further pullback, but it's not something that, you know, picking the reversal is very difficult. Maybe the Russell 2000 continues up to the 200 day moving average, and maybe it just blows right through it. We don't know, but the price evidence tells us right now, the buyers remain in control of the trend. Do not fight it. Semiconductors, same story here, but you know, not everything is doing great. Look at Coca-Cola, what happened this week. So be aware that there are pockets of risk based on where the uh, money is, you know, but where the individual stock risk is and earnings. We're almost through earnings season. Uh, Apple, for instance, look at the news today. The news today in Apple was that during the fourth quarter of last year, we got this news today, mind you, that during the fourth quarter of last year, George Soros 
and um, who was the other one? David Tepper, Appaloosa Fund, sold out of every single share of Apple, and Warren Buffett cut back on his position. You don't need the news to know that there's big, big money flowing out of the market in these circumstances. Now Apple is well above its year-to-date volume weighted average price, of, of course, but you have to look at it and say, since the last event, the, uh, the uh, earnings report, what you can see here is so far, the buyers are defending the volume weighted average price from that level. So if, this, if shares of Apple break down and then find it's trapped below that volume weighted average price, then I think you have to be very careful and look for it to maybe head down as far as the uh, year to date volume weighted average price. So it's each stock based on its own merits. While we're cautious in this market, we, you know, we've had some phenomenal winners in Alpha Trends, still holding some of this one. It's just as crazy that it keeps going up every single day with tight stops the way we have them. But the fact is there's a lot of opportunity out there. If you saw my Real Vision um, uh, video that I had taped on Tuesday, it went live yesterday. You can see it on alphatrends.net. I had uh, mentioned AMD. AMD is above the volume weighted average from, from price from the peak over here. And of course, it's above the volume weighted average price from this low. That tells us the buyers are in control. In my mind, that would change if we broke below this level. Uh, that is, that's where a stop would go. In shares of Square, same thing. We have an inverted head and shoulders pattern, the volume weighted average price from the peak. If you haven't seen that video, go to alphatrends.net uh, and view it with this uh, post. I uh, hope it was a good week for you and you have a good long weekend for the people who are coming to Chart Summit next week. Super excited for that. Can't wait to meet you. And uh, again, enjoy the long weekend. Thank